What's up everybody, this is Bruce, aka Geektacular, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing for you. Um, these actually came out a little while ago in 2014, but I just uh, recently kind of started getting into Godzilla a little bit more. Um, so now I'm kind of watching all the Godzillas from front to back, and um, luckily... A bunch of the Godzilla movies, the later ones, um, that Sony still has the licensing rights to, um, they actually released them all, all the ones that they have the licenses for, uh, on Blu-ray, and most of them in these double packs here, which is really cool um, because a lot of the films in the Godzilla series, there's almost 30 of them at this point, as of like 2015, um, I think there's 28 or 29. Um, a lot of them are not available on Blu-ray. There are some that are, um, but there's a good number of them, maybe like a third of them, that aren't um, available on Blu-ray yet. So um, it's really cool of Sony to sort of put out these, um, these remastered HD versions of these. Um, and at a good price, too. Most of these are between, like, $7 and $13. Um, so, you know, ten about $10 plus or minus $3 um, each. Which comes out, you know, obviously to, like, you know, $3 to $5 per movie. Which is a really good deal. Um, because these are all the ones that came out from um, the mid-90s onwards early to mid 90s onwards so these are still pretty recent um as of 20 i guess or <laughs> i guess at this point they're maybe 15 to 20 years old um not quite 25 years old so i just wanted to kind of show you um all of these since they're all kind of part of this toho godzilla collection um and the only release that is not going to be shown here is the rebirth of mothra um, they also released that trilogy as well in the same Toho Godzilla collection. Um, but since it's not actually a Godzilla movie, Godzilla is not in um, the Rebirth of Mothra 1 through 3. Um, the, I'm just including here strictly the Godzilla series movies. Um, but these are all the movies sort of in order um, right here. And these are all still sealed, so I'm going to open all these up. Um, during this video so you can kind of see um, everything kind of see everything at once here so this is kind of a multi unboxing so I'll just go ahead and show you the front covers of these um, <clears throat> so you can see which ones are included here Godzilla vs King Ghidorah uh, Godzilla and Mothra the battle for Earth Godzilla vs Mecha Godzilla 2 Godzilla vs Space Godzilla Godzilla vs Destroya uh, Godzilla vs Mega, Mega Agaris, um, Godzilla 2000, Godzilla Mothra and King Ghidorah, giant monsters all out attack, Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla, and Godzilla Tokyo SOS and Godzilla Final Wars. So um, I actually haven't seen any of these films yet. Um, so if I mispronounce anything or, you know, I get any details wrong, um, you know, uh, just take that with a grain of salt. But, um, so I've yet to see any of these yet. Um, but like I said, they were pretty cheap and, um, I kind of wanted to pick up all of them so I could watch them in order anyway. So, um, this seemed like a really good deal here. So let me show you what all the sides look like. Um, actually, let me just stack them up and you can see all the sides of the discs. Um, all sort of uh, sitting beside each other here. So this is what all of the spines look like. So the ones that are double features just say double feature in the middle and then it has the first movie on the left and the second movie on the right and then each one sort of has a little um, a little thumbnail um, of, of from that particular movie. So they, they all are sort of themed similarly, which is awesome, um, with the slight exception of Godzilla 2000, uh, which is sort of, kind of looks a little bit weird uh, in this setup. And I'll go ahead and show you the backs of each of these right now. Um, so there's those two. This one. 
And if you want to read anything or something, you can go ahead and you know, pause the video or something and check it out. Um, but most of these, as you can see, um, all the specs I don't think are exactly the same, but um, they pretty much all have um, a Japanese and an English audio track um, with uh, English subs at the very least. Um, they're all widescreen and that kind of thing. Um, some of them, like, I don't know, this says Japanese and English DTS HD MA. I don't know if that's 5.1 or 2.0 because you can have a DTS HD Master Audio 2.0 track as well. So it doesn't really specify there, but um, it does have the Japanese and the English and English subs. So you can watch it in Japanese or watch it in English. And like I said, I think all of them have that. And I, most of them, I think also, as for the special features, just have the original trailers. So there's really not a lot of special features on these. Um, but uh, you do get the trailers, at least. And you get the Japanese and the English versions of all of them. All of them. Um, so this one, Godzilla 2000 is the exception. This does actually have some special features. It has commentaries, behind the scenes, in addition to the original trailer. And it has the Japanese version um, and the US version, which are actually sort of uh, different lengths there. Um, and then we're back to the regular original trailers. Um, and these two, uh, SOS, Tokyo SOS and Final Wars, both actually have a couple of special features, which you can see listed there. Um, and like all the others, they have English and Japanese audio and English and French subs. So pretty much, um, you know, with the exception of some extra uh, special features, pretty much all you could want. And I will note that some of these have a ultraviolet um, sticker on the outside. I don't know if all of these releases have um, ultraviolet codes inside of them. Because um, they don't all have that sticker on the outside, but I'm under the impression that they do. So, um, let me lay these out in order again. And um, let me do a quick jump cut and I'll go ahead and actually take the plastic off all these and then you, we can see uh, all the discs and everything. Okay, so just to break it down real quick, I just opened up um, these top three here. And these come in the um, Blu-ray cases that actually lock. So um, they have these little locks on the, on the inner spine, but you can actually kind of pin them back and just use them as regular um, cases as well. So let me open this up and let me see if there's off camera, um, there's a UV code. Um, let's see. And there is, okay. Um, so there is a, um, a UV code. So this is what they're all going to look like. Just your generic, uh, ultraviolet, uh, inserts there that have the two movies and a single code on them. And these expire on, according to this, on December 31st, 2017. Um, so I think each one of these will have that. And you get both movies um, with a single code that's down below on the insert. Um, so you can't like give out one movie and, or the other, um, but the one code gets you both. So here's the inside of the first release. Um, and these also have cool artwork um, on the inside here. Um, the artwork appears to just be what's on the disc, I think. So, like this as well. It's kind of hard to see. There you go. So it's basically just um, the artwork from the disc, but um, kind of uh, larger. And let me just pin that back. I hate those locks that are on that. So uh, that's the first one. And we'll just go ahead and do the same thing uh, with this one because I'm fairly certain. Yep. 
So there's a UV code inside of um, this next one as well. So again, um, artwork on the back of the insert. Basically just a, a better, bigger version of um, the art that's on the disc. Um, I do appreciate the fact um, that they, A, that they include artwork on the insides, and B, um, that they don't stick these movies on one disc. I hate when they compress um, movies on Blu-ray, like they'll put two movies on a single disc or something like that. Um, I don't, I, I feel like it's unnecessary and it could not really cost that much more um, to to just put them on separate discs and not compress them more you know um, so there's this one it's Mega Agarus and it's all versus Destroya Des Destoroya um, so, uh, same idea as the others. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna pin this back so I don't have to worry about that. Um, so that's the first three right there. Um, now let me go ahead and do the same with the final three, just so you can kind of see what those look like. All right, so I went ahead and opened all these and just took the UV inserts out. Um, and I'll go ahead and show you the inside of these. So this one still has um, more art inside of there. Um, actually different artwork uh, than what's featured on the disc itself. So that's cool. Um, you can see that there. And again, that one also came with a code, a UV code. Uh, this one also came with a UV code. And here's what the back looks like. So these are actually sort of a little bit more like the movie posters uh, on the back artwork. So very cool. I love that. I love that they included inner art. I think that's awesome. Um, and again, these are the same uh, locking Blu-ray cases. And here's the final one, which also came with a uh, UV code as well. And just like the previous ones, um, these ones gave you one UV code that re that you redeem for both movies. So um, it's not separate ultraviolet codes for each movie. So if you're wanting to pick these up, you'll end up with uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 Blu-ray discs, um, and 6 uh, ultraviolet digital uh, code inserts to redeem to get all of these. So yeah, um, I hope you liked this unboxing, uh, maybe it helped you decide whether or not you wanted to pick these up or not. Um, these are definitely uh, the best versions of these films that you can get in North America um, currently as of the end of 2015. So uh, if you've been wanting to see any of these or all of these, I would recommend go ahead and pick these up because Godzilla, the Godzilla's franchise is very fickle in terms of licensing and you never know <laughs> when somebody might lose the license for something or whatever. Um, and the Blu-ray gets discontinued and then it's really hard to find or whatnot. Um, so while you can still get these for, you know, three or four or five dollars per movie, I would say go ahead and go for it. So thanks a lot for watching this, guys. Uh, if you like this unboxing, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. That would be awesome. And if you like these kinds of unboxings, if you like movie unboxings, video game unboxings, anime unboxings, um, anything like that, go ahead and click subscribe down below, and that way you'll get notified whenever I come out with any new videos. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you next time.